All right, they should be going. And we're off. Cool. So we begin with the last match of group stage. So this match is actually like a, a rematch or a makeup match. Um, they were supposed to have a match together in like stage four or something. But they couldn't do their match because Zeno was sick. And so now they're getting an opportunity to actually complete their match. Which is important because these two are competing for what is essentially first place. So whoever wins this race gets first for their group. And uh, the loser of this race will either get second or third depending on how many points they get and who it is. Just get to see the standard opening here for a little while. So let's take a look at the board and see what we've got. Initial impression is that this seems to be a pretty easy board. Um, the entire top row really isn't too bad. Lurian probably being the worst out of that. Queen's Garden Stag is a little out of the way, but nothing, not a ton of requirements with it. Duck to Fluke Hermit, save three grubs and waterways, call a one, six tolls and six devouts. Really not too bad for a second row, call a one's pretty gross, but otherwise not terrible. Let's see, column one, nail two, map pins, fluke, I mean this is a really easy row as well. Now the bottom row, void tendrils, this is maybe the worst of the starting rows that I can see. You got Fluke Marm, Zero, and Void Tendrils, which are a little bit later. Uh, right side of the board, Queen's Garden Stag, Devouts, Dream Trees, Crystal Heart, and Simple Keys. Again, not terrible, not the best one at all, but um, either top of the board or left side of the board would be the one to choose for starting, I would think. Uh, so then the middle nine for the board. Queens and Kings Stag Stations, that's really friendly for the left side of the board. Uh, three Waterway Grubs, Shade Soul, GG's Hut, five corner for locations. Call a one, six tolls, Deep Nest Stag, and the Tram Pass Goals. So, if you're starting from left or right side of the board, uh, connecting to the middle of the board is not going to be an issue. Um, and then we have a bunch of easy mid-game goals if you do come from left to right side. We'll have to see what our racers choose, of course, but this could end up being a fairly quick race. the load normalizer on. Oh, he died. <laughs> Trinomi, what the heck? That's like a minute plus time loss. We've seen that there. That's gotta feel bad. All right, let's let's time his one, two. Okay, he's definitely got it on. Jeremy just has a a rocket ship for a computer, apparently. So his loads after the load normalizer are basically instant. Z. 
Then I was buffering. Great. Get more teleporting. He streams in 20 FPS. That seems a little goofy. Zenil's currently in the lead, though, but Trinomi's quickly coming up behind. Knights down. We'll get to take a look at what our first check of the match will be. Don't really count Fury, I guess. It was only like 150 Geo or something. And Spores Room. Not even on the board today. like to see Zeno just drop the, uh, the bitrate down to something like a thousand instead of just buffering like this. And there we go. Zeno's gone. <laughs> Back Zeno. This is my favorite part. Oh, shit. Sorry, Chad. I don't know why Twitch defaults audio to on when I have it muted. I'm so sorry. Dream nail at VS though, so that's good. That really opens up the board. Now we just need claw. And this race will be over in about an hour. Ooh, Chernomi putting on Sparse Room as well. Same as Zeno. To kill this Balder. Really heads up play by both of them to recognize that you can kill this Balder like right away. Using Sparse Room. And Quick Slash. Which I don't believe is on this board. No. That is a goal in the bingo system, but uh, not on this board today. Jeromey actually getting decent luck with no rollers in spit. Allowing him to damage his Balder a little faster and then using, using the Dream Nail to get his soul back. Most people forget that Baldur's still can be dream nailed. Usually during runs and stuff, we don't have it this early, so it's easy to forget about using it there. But Trinomi's catching up to Zeno. Just these little optimizations that he's doing is saving some time. Looks like Zeno's gonna go dark room. I like it. Wow, 
Wow, both racers going to Dark Room. Interesting. We'll have to see who can make it through first. Zeno has a little bit of a head start, but he's also low on HP, and he didn't sit at the bench. He doesn't make this through the first try. He's going to have to save quit all the way back to... Not even crossroads, he'll be at the mound. Zeno leaving, coming back, just resetting the moon. Well, Chernomi catches up. Chernomi also not sitting on the bench. Oh, Zeno's just blazing through this now. Easy game. Tronomi gets through as well. Dark room, not a problem for both of these runners. Tronomi fighting zero right away. Is he gonna claim bottom of the boards? This would be an interesting choice. I guess it's not that bad. By choosing bottom of the board now, you're choosing... Void Tendril's entry and Fluke Marm, but I guess those are really not a problem. The other four goals besides Void Tendril's journal entry are really not too bad. So by the time you get late game and want to go get that goal, not too tough to do. Plus with row four, um, really some easy goals to get out of row five. So we determined our sides. Which means I need to mark them on the board. So top is Zeno. <laughs> that bottom bar really blue? What the heck? That doesn't look blue. Claw, both in resting grounds. I missed it while I was doing these color bars, but you can see it on the tracker. Crazy. Well, the racers have basically everything they need now to do a lot of stuff. Pride was at 900. I missed what was at 500. <laughs> yep. Seed just wants to get out of here and get on with its, with its day. Got the AFK noise from Zeno. Screen. 
That's one thing I, I wish you could do with Discord is change the AFK settings per channel. Because like for this race channel, it doesn't make sense to send people AFK, you know? Nothing at Salubra. I saw a Fragile Charm and Defender's Crest, but neither of those are on the board. What was that, uh... What was that 500 Essence? Does anyone know? Was there? Flowing womb? Okay. Thank you. Ternomi heading in the green path. I'm not sure I'd, I'd like this. Especially not entering this way. I would much rather, given their item loadout, see a Howling Cliffs play or a Funko play. I think going in the normal green pathway is suboptimal. We'll see if Zeno decides to do that after checking the shops. Nope, he's not. Am I behind on Zeno's stream? Be. Yeah, I'm 15 seconds behind him right now. check like either I don't want to reset his stream right now I want to see this <laughs> just falling in the acid the shaddy being the unofficial tracker for Trinoma And spell twister. Tronomi picking up, picking up the journal entry while he's here in Green Path. It's one of those things where it's on your side of the board. May as well, you know, work your way towards it now. You really don't want to have to come back to Green Path all this way just to grab the journal later in the run. Zeno's going to be traveling for a little bit, so let's refresh his stream. And we get a look at a PlayStation ad. Red Dead Redemption 2. Has anyone played this game? I heard it was decent. seconds behind. I have an ad blocker. It doesn't work on Twitch anymore. And I'm not, uh, I don't have turbo anymore, so I have to watch ads everywhere. Which is silly. Check here. Do you want to log into your account for these? <laughs> I don't think you want me logging into your account. 
Plus, it's I'm on the HK Speedruns account right now. So I can control the dashboard and shit. Dive at thorns? God damn it. I'm just not paying attention. That's a good pickup, though, for Chernomi. Zeno's buffering again. Probably going down. I mean, if I was smart, I would just open up another page. And then once the ad finishes for that, move it over into place. Crazy man. Okay. Well, Zeno is uh, going to be pulling a, a yote pretty soon. Going to be teleporting. Probably. Crystal Heart? Where are you seeing that? Oh, Yod has it. Or Yod. Wow. <laughs> Zeno has it. At Claw, I'm assuming. God damn it. I'm gonna mark it in reserve for him. That is what we call a Freudian slip, my friends. Okay, well, he's gonna be fighting Mantis Lords, apparently. Oh, Tren oh Trenomi got so lucky that other Vengefly was there. Otherwise, he was going to be stuck in that scream animation the whole time. Which would have been a soft lock. Well, there goes Zeno. Another network error, apparently. Zeno stream. Hello. God damn it. We're still seeing the boss fight. But I'm pretty sure we're behind now for where he actually is. I'm... Someone needs to like, and that someone probably needs to be me. Just look through Zeno's settings and make sure they actually make sense. I feel like we've had this problem with Zeno multiple times. He might just have awful stream settings. Well, this is a thing. This is a thing that is happening right now. I guess we'll just watch Ternomi. <laughs> and another network error. Amazing. making quick work of the massive moss charger. I still want someone to die to that boss in this tournament. That that would be amazing. 
I mean, it wouldn't be amazing, but it'd be pretty funny. Alright, let's just complete refresh the page. <sighs> oh, gonna watch this ad again. Come on, Zeno. Shaman stone being found at the chest. And quitting out right away. I think I would have liked to see... Um... Chernomi check the, or free the grub that's over there. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure Zeno's stream is just dead. OBS update recently, but that shouldn't have really changed anything, but it may have. Uh, but still, we've had this issue multiple times with Zeno's stream. So, there's if, if his inter internet is as good as he says it is, then there's some settings that are wrong. video for a second he's there's no way he's still at mantis lords i don't know where he is right now but okay ah <sighs> bafanada I kind of want to stop them, but I kind of don't. But Trinomi hasn't saved Sly, so he can't check Sly's shop right now. But, uh... He's currently, you know, armed to the teeth with spells. So much damage. Especially this early. We'll have to see what he goes for. It looks like he's going fungal, which means that he'll end up getting Crystal Heart. Mm, maybe not. Oh, did he not unlock Crossroads Stag? That's, that must be why he's going this way. Hey, we're back up for Zeno. Just kidding. We're buffering now. Alright, what did he get? He got Elegy and Heavy Blow. So that's what's at Mantis Lords. <clears throat> I don't know if he checked stream. Oh, and Nailmaster Glory. So one of those three was that Dash Master, most likely. And we're dropping frames again. As Trinomi goes to save. Save Sly and check Salubra. Interesting, actually, that it, he's doing it this late. <laughs> well, 
Love to see if Chernomi will shade skip here and go to City of Tears. <laughs> and finding nothing. Which you already knew. Nope, no shade skip. So just saving Sly and quitting out. Meanwhile, Zeno stream is back up for the moment. And it's gone. He does have eyes. I would rather see him go and do, uh, the graves or whatever. The catacombs. Where are you going now? Looks like he might be... He doesn't know. I'm going back to Sly. Okay, getting a rancid egg. Oh, he's doing GG's hot right now. Okay. Well, I mean, the, the screen is literally telling us there was a network error. So... <laughs> stream really uh, you live in, in oh, Sweden uh, network should not be a problem really? for a single stream. One thing that's really confusing for me, at least, about Zeno's settings is why stream at 20 FPS. Like, if he's handled more demanding games, why stream at 20 FPS? Seems like a strange choice. And when you're buffering this much, like, just lower your hit rate. Or when you're dropping this many frames. bats as he goes past them. Okay, well we're just looking at the occasional pictures over here for Zeno. I saw he went and got Shaman Stone. Gonna go through Green Path a little bit more. 
presumably just looking for some items. Um, I think since he has the items to do so, I would like to see the Lurian play from him. Just get himself on the board. Plus there's a check there too, so. So we'll have to see if he goes there. If we can ever see anything. Ever again. There was a network error. Alright, so Trinomi has queens and kings. He unlocked queens, right? Believe he did. Nope. <laughs> Is that all gone again? He did? Okay, good. Five tolls. Okay, just needs one more. Must be going to the corner for location down here. Interestingly enough, Trinomi deciding to skip out on Fungal, um, which is removing his chance to get Crystal Heart from Zeno right now. I doubt it'll be something Zeno can can take, but Oh we actually back? No, we're not. Chernobyl. Where are you going? Resting grounds. I like this. Check the graves really quick. I don't think we've seen these checked. Oh, we just went there for the corner for location. Which, I think he has that goal now. Or maybe he went there just to be sure that he had it. Geo and Grub Song? Okay. I mean, this race is already a disaster for Zeno. Because <laughs> we can't see it. We got, we got some video. I should really learn to not get excited about things. Last corner for location, I, I think. And then steal Lurian, maybe? I think that would be a good play for him. 
<laughs> the homothity bench. Hell yeah. I don't know. I see him in the Thorns room right now. Okay, so that's the last toll for Chernobyl. Oh, he's marking it in reserve. Or no, he's marking corner for locations in reserve. So he's got both of those in reserve right now, I believe. there. So you got this one. Commodity Bench. Kings and Queens. Dark Room. And Crossroads Stag. And Green Path Stag, I think. So that's seven. He doesn't have Green Path Stag? Okay. So this is six. Thing Chernomi is paying attention. It's gonna do another triple mark here pretty soon. It's gonna unlock the city crest door. So he'll have that goal. Then he just needs to use his second simple key and he'll get three more goals. He'll get that one, city crest, and five corner for locations. That's what Zeno's stream now is. Just a, an ad farm for Twitch. You're welcome, Twitch. I'm making you a couple cents at a time. Snipe. So Trinomi's out to a commanding lead right now. Up seven to one. Just forty five minutes in. Meanwhile, 
Zeno apparently fighting Hornet, but we know that's probably not true. So, we have no idea where Zeno is. in waterways. Okay. Which means he's probably done fluke farm. I would guess. Hey, he's back up. Um, but I would find map pens right away. Since they have Dream Nail, they can get all of them. Sharp Shadow at Flickmarm. Oh yeah, Zeno's bingo board on his stream is so far behind. So he's definitely not in resting grounds right now. And Zeno just said in chat, I resign, I'm so out of it. Sorry, man, I'm just not feeling it. Okay, well, I guess that's the race. Four, 47 minutes in, Zeno resigns. Which means Trinomi will take the victory 13 to two. Get that marked here. That does give Zeno two more points than he would have had otherwise. And that means we're ready to um, Yeah. Ready to go in the bracket stage. Let's go. Brackets ready. Let's see if we can take a look at this actually. So, we'll put it up on Zeno's screen if we can see it. Might just switch to another screen or something. All right. So, bracket is as follows. Mothody gets a buy. Mothody, Yote, and Siplax get buys. Um, why does Yote get a buy? Interesting. Oh, probably because of, uh, actually why? I'm not sure. I'll have to look at that later. But, uh, the first round matches we have are Chernomi and Veloxity, Shaddy and Miri, Zeno and Pest, Sean and Mage, and me and Axe. And then, from there, we move on to the next round in the winner's bracket, and the loser's bracket will head down below <clears throat> and work their way across. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to open this up for predictions. Which means, you know, you can do kind of like a March Madness type of thing and pick who you think is going to win.
And yeah. This bracket is a preview and subject to change. Okay, sure. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you everyone for watching. Um, unfortunately, a, a short stream for now, but uh, bracket stage is starting, so we have that to look forward to. Um, stay tuned. We're gonna work on scheduling things. The plan at the moment is to. Um, try and get a whole bunch of matches scheduled for the weekends and do them back to back to back if we can. Um, if we can't do that though, you know, we'll just do some during the week, during the week, uh, as we have been doing for the group stage. So, but yeah, the, the plan is if we can to just have a weekend event type thing where we have a bunch of people racing right after each other. So, um, I don't think I have anything else to say. No other announcements for the tournament. So. I'll let y'all go. Have a great rest of your day. And we'll see you. In the bracket stage. <laughs>